What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the and welcome to yet another video. Today we are going to New York, the Big Apple. I don't know why I'm so hyped right now. In reality, I should be freaking out because I'm running a little bit late. Okay, sorry, scratch that. A lot of bit late. I actually wanted to film a how I pack video because I have packed a lot of stuff into these bags and some of the, oh, oh damn, there's my mom. Anyways, I don't really have time because I gotta catch a flight, so I'm gonna show you guys how I pack once I get to New York, I get to my hotel, and then I can unpack everything. That way I don't have to like unpack everything right now and then repack it. Also, before I go, I definitely need to water my plants. Drink up, little guy, drink up. My mom is turning into a hype beast, legit. Like she's like, stop using your Supreme bags for garbage bags. Yeah, she's legit turning into a hype beast, guys. And then yesterday, I had my freaking Supreme water bottle or the Supreme like a, it's like a the metal water mug thing, and she was like, oh, is that for me? I'm like, mom, it's a freaking normal ass water bottle. Like, what are you doing? Anyways, <laughs> let's hit the airport. Dog right there. <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up, baby? <laughs> I forgot we're doing the gun thing. What's up, <laughs> Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. All right, guys. I landed. I touched down. I linked up with Paul. I linked up with Matthew for Tylo and Conrad. Conrad is currently in line trying to get me some Yeezys. Hopefully, he comes through. You already know the first day of sneaker con. I gotta wear the Brooklyn camo. If anyone takes my idea, I'm gonna be livid. Anyways, Matthew, I need you to film this. Okay, catch. He caught it, boys, and that is a very expensive camera. So, how I pack for SneakerCon New York, okay, or how I pack for New York, I, I think I'm just gonna say how I pack for New York. Anyways, these bags are life-changing, dude. So, these are from Private Label, right? They store so much stuff, and it was so freaking magnificent because they're like the perfect size. So, if you look right here, I have this thing packed full. We got my drone, we got my drone handle. These are hard cases. That way it doesn't get damaged or anything in flight. Uh, then we got a pair of shoes right here. We got the Kith Mid Ultra Boost. These things are also life changing. The boy Connor is wearing them. They look so freaking sexy. I can't wait to freaking style those. Uh, I'm gonna get some pictures of those this weekend for sure. And then you have so many pockets. First of all, on both sides, you have all these little zipper pockets that you can store stuff right here. I was like, that's where I would store like little USB accessories. I got my hard drive right here. Once you zip that up, like I said, you have that on this side as well. So you can really open these from both sides, both sides. I don't know why I just forgot that, that had an S in it. You can open this from both sides. Obviously you have all the same zipper pockets. You have so many little pockets to store like little things in. You have this side pocket right here. That's where my headphones are. We got this side pocket. I got the little Supreme Mophie. Matthew was like, yo, I hope your phone's charged, blah, blah, blah. So, joke's on you, bro, I'm good. <laughs> Anyways, then we got some hard drives in this front pocket. Just, this bag is a necessity. Then you guys already know, I stay traveling with the North Face and I stay stepping on clothes. So this is my North Face bag that I have right here. I love this bag. Uh, it's got a little never stop exploring. I will say for traveling, this doesn't store as much stuff as a lot of different roller bags can or even really normal duffel bags. And the reason for that is because inside it's got these little bars. It's kind of hard to explain it. If I actually take everything out, I'll show you a quick little picture. But anyways, um, I put all my stuff in bags. And the reason I do that is because I can suck the air out of it. It's just really easy for me to press it down and suck the air out of it while I'm trying to close it. And as you can see, we brought some heat. Then we have the other private label bag. I actually uh, put this bag to the test. This thing, like, I stretched this thing out, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, it's got all these little pockets right here, of course, right? I didn't use any of those. I just used this main pocket. I shoved these uh, Supreme bags on top, 
And then I put my shoes in these little private label bags that the duffel bag came with. And I just squeezed so much stuff in here. Like I got some palace bags, I got some sweatshirts, I got the Supreme North Face sweatshirt, I got another palace bag, I got freaking another palace bag. <laughs> The man behind the camera really wants this piece right now, which is why I'm laughing. He was looking for it yesterday. He couldn't find it. Your boy hit it. Uh, anyways, I got some little uh, A8 towels from Bathing Ape. Just different stuff. A bunch of beanies. Like, bro, this thing is so freaking beautiful. Definitely life-changing. If you guys can only buy one thing, though, this backpack is mandatory. But anyways, we are about to go hit the Brooklyn Bridge, so I will see you guys there. Excuse me. I'm just getting over a sickness, that's why I haven't been posting as much, and I mean I would have had content to post, but I, I'm an idiot and I left my hard drive on the plane. Which means I have to reshoot three of the videos. I already reshot like two or three of them, and in fact, if this video gets enough love, if this video gets 2k likes on Thursday, I will either drop a very special unboxing with a super sick lookbook edit, or I will drop a Supreme Collection on the East Coast. You guys let me know which one you'd rather see in the comments. For me, I'll probably end up posting whichever one I feel like editing first. But, trust me, both of them will be really dope, so make sure you smash that like button. Now, I need to apologize because this video is not quite as organized as I would like, and the main reason is due to the fact that I lost my hard drive, and the first day my camera was broken, so I couldn't actually get certain shots with my lens. I could really only get shots that were center-focused and had, like, the bottom or top basically be somewhat out of focus or blurry. It kind of limited what I could shoot the first day and that was kind of a bummer for me and just all my videos, all my all my content got kind of out of order. For example, I have no transition to the outro clips I'm gonna show you guys. I have tons of footage, but I have no transition to the outro clips where basically me, Matt, Paul, Blazendary, just a bunch of people all went down to Times Square and recorded some footage. But I still wanted to post this video for two main reasons. One, I want to have it to look back at. Honestly, SneakerCon New York was a crazy experience for me. Shout to everyone at SneakerCon. Shout to everyone that put SneakerCon on and just all the people that came out to show love, man. Like, I seriously cannot say thank you enough. The support in New York was so insane to me. Like, I've just... I'm so extremely grateful for each and every one of you and I'm glad I got to meet a lot of you in New York. And also, the other reason is, of course, because I want to discuss how I pack things. And I'm going to... I don't know. Essentially... The main trick that I have, it's not really even a trick, but you don't need like space tight airbags. Really you can use any bags, they don't need to be airtight, they can be any little Ziploc bags. 
And the reason it works is because when you're closing the bag, you can push down, push all the air out, and then make space, and then you zip it up. It actually works really well. And the other thing is obviously, I would not have been able to do this or fit nearly as much stuff as I packed if it wasn't for the private label bags. These bags hold so much stuff. Honestly, you can fit so much stuff in these bags. Like, they're just perfect. Granted, if you take the dividers out, you could probably fit more if that's your goal, but I like having the dividers because I can organize it and fit a lot of stuff in. Obviously, the thing I recommend is a necessity for everyone is the backpack. The backpacks are so freaking nice. But yeah, man, shout out to Private Label. Shout out to everyone that showed love at SneakerCon. Shout out to everyone in general. I appreciate you watching this video. Like I said, smash that like button if you want to see some more content. I apologize for my lack of energy right now. I'm so freaking tired. I'm just getting over a sickness. I really need to get some rest. I have a killer headache. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, let's get to the outro footage. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for your support. And as always, keep living the star life. <laughs>